This is trainee engineer Tom. How old are you then, if you don't mind me asking? 18. Get out. I should have ID'd you, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Embarking on his first ever date, he's ready to chase love's dream. The fact that you're sitting here at the age of 18 looking for a meaningful relationship and a meaningful date. I guess just a different mindset to a lot of from <laughs> I guess like, I just done quite old in my ways. Like, I'd love to find someone young and enjoy my whole life with them. Recently, my grandma and granddad had their diamond wedding anniversary. So that's 60 years. I'd like that, so. <laughs> and so tell me, what sort of girls do you like? A girl that just wants to have fun. Hi. I want someone that's actually like, got something going for them. A girl that wants to go places? Yeah, yeah. This is 19-year-old Abby, a university student hoping to master the law of attraction. I've always been interested in law and like the legal system, and I think naturally I've like just gone towards a law degree. Because I'm young and I'm blonde, a lot of people look at me and just assume I'm gonna be dumb. Do you get legally blonde references? All the time. All the time. People are like, oh, you're gonna be like that girl off legally blonde. Ooh la la. Hi. You're looking amazing. Thank you. What's your name? Abby. Abby. I think I do believe in love at first sight. I've just never felt it. A lot of boys my age are quite content with going out and having one night stands, and it's just not for me. I want to find someone for the long term. There we go. Oh, God. Almost lost the pie. As long as it drops on that side, it's fine. <laughs> what is that? That's mash. It's not mash. It's, it's sweet all... potato mash. I can't tell what it is. Is it actually birds? It's chicken. Ch is, is it chicken a bird? Is it classed as a bird? Is it no, like, is a chicken classed as a bird? It's got wings. No, but would you class it as a bird? Yeah. Like a duck, innit? You know? I've noticed for London, though, like... It's all posh, isn't it? London is all posh. It's well expensive as it's well. It's a different world to Beverly. Do you go home much, or...? I've only been home once since I moved to Leeds. Are you, like, quite a family <coughs> person, or...? Proper family person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum is literally my best friend. Yeah, I, I love my mum to pieces, so... Uh, a couple of years ago, my mum got diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Oh, how old is she? 55, so she's really young to have it. Oh, God, that's awful. Yeah. At first, like... She was only forgetting, like, where you put your keys. Everyone forgets that. But then she had a brain scan, and they said that they could see uh, the brain deteriorating. I look after my mum most of the time. I guess I'm a care. I make sure she's taking all the tablets. Yeah, like, yeah. There's a lot of things that I make it's sure she does. It's responsibility, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like, I, I've sort of had to take it on. Not many 18-year-old lads look after the mum, whoever she becomes. Even if she forgets me, like, I'm going to love her, cos... In there somewhere, it still is my mum that brought me up and made me the person I am. It's just made us as a family like what close. Yeah, it yeah. does, doesn't it? You appreciate the small things that you wouldn't have done. I'd love for whoever I'm with in the future to meet my mum. So then I guess I'll, I'll always know, like, deep down, if my mum doesn't make it to my wedding, like, she knows that girl and she knows she's the right one for me. Oh, God, what would she think about me? I think she'd get on with you. Do you it. think? She, she likes anyone that's nice and bubbly. Yeah, and yeah. Chinese. We'll talk to her. Yeah, yeah. So, she, she, I, I reckon she'd love you to bits. <laughs> <laughs>